Hello beautiful readers! Today is December 20th and I have finished reading The Singer by Christopher Paolini once again. I have also reviewed Eldest and Aragon. If you've not read them already, I'm going to be spoiling them. So either go back and watch my videos, which I will link to, or continue or go read the books because they're fantastic. Uh, in this book, we start off, Aragon in the last one had just found out from Murtog that he and Murtog are brothers and that their father is Morzan, the evil dude that Brom killed a long time ago. And so Aragon at the beginning of this book is kind of angsting about that and thinking he must be evil if his parents are evil. So it gets slightly annoying at times, but Christopher manages to do a fantastic job, um, once again, of jumping between the characters. We get a little bit more of Angela in pieces, but uh, mostly Roran is a big part of this one. Consequently, the book's a little bit more gory because he's majorly a warrior. Uh, he, so he's brought the people of Carvajal, they've all made it to the Varden, and now um, he wants to, of course, go do the thing that he wanted to do in the first place, which is go rescue Katrina. So he and Aragon and Sephira get to go off and save Katrina, um, or at least attempt to, and it's really fascinating to see how Aragon and Roran, now that Roran's kind of a legend and Aragon's a dragon rider, how they now relate to one another. Um, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> in some ways, but it's fascinating to see that it's, it seems like a really realistic growth of their relationship. And then to see how um, Nasuida, the leader of the Varden, is dealing with Roran is really cool too, because she's amazing, politically speaking. She can think at least ten steps ahead of everybody else, and she's always like... Like, for instance, the Urgals who come to join, she takes them and she figures out what it's going to take to get them and the rest of the people to get along well enough to go fight. And so she does like these little, like, how is that going to work and how is this going to work? And we don't see the in-between, the hemming and the hawing, because she makes decisions pretty quickly, but it's just really cool because then she takes Roran and she's very, like, thoughtful. Like, I have to do something with him. He looks like he'd be a good leader, but then she does little, like, how are you going to do when you're actually doing stuff? So I love the way she, as a, a the leader, is doing so many fantastic things for the Varden. And then I really like the way how, toward the end of the book, you really get this feeling of, okay, Aragon's got what he needs. He's got his tools. He's got his education. He's gotten all the growth that he needs, and you kind of get that feeling of, okay, let's do this thing, let's take Galbatorix down! And he just, Christopher just does a really good job of making this, like, the the growth and, like, the real, um, not quite climax, but almost to the climax of the whole series book. Um, I really appreciate it. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them below. Of course, next I'm reading Inheritance. And then beyond that, I have some more books that I will be um, fitting into my schedule. So if you have any um, suggestions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and keep reading.